What is up everybody? How are you doing? Are you having a good day? I hope you are having a good day. See that? I'm whipping up some dinner right now. That's some ham and bean soup in the making in case you're curious and I'm sauteing the onions and ham and some butter right now. Just in case you'll be asking like in the comments section of what I am making for dinner. But anyway, I have been procrastinating a lot on wanting to make this video. Um, and I thought that it was important that I address this issue. Uh, ever since the Owen McDonald debate, ever since the debate that I had with Owen McDonald, and I heard this term thrown around a lot during the debate, both by him and by his audience members in the chat, by all of his supporters that were in the live chat. And if you pay attention to politics at all, you'll hear this term thrown around a lot yourself. And even before the debate, I heard this term thrown around a lot. And that is the term of stolen labor. Like, your labor is stolen because you aren't paid a decent wage. This term is thrown around a lot by Marxists like Owen McDonald himself, and many others for that matter. And I gotta say, that this term is stupid. It is stupid. There is no stolen labor, I will say, as a generalization. Now, if you are enslaved by somebody, that is stolen labor. That is the only stolen labor right there. And I heard somebody, I read somebody like in the live chat during the debate say, well, in the live chat, that I agree to have my labor stolen. And I was thinking to myself, that is a very oxymoronic statement to make right there. You know why? Because if you are agreeing to something, well then it's not stolen. If somebody was to get into your house and take away your priceless jewelry, but you didn't agree to it, then that would mean that it was stolen. But if the person takes your priceless jewelry, but you do agree to give it to him, well then that's the point at which that it is no longer stolen. And so, on that same note, the moment that you agree to give your labor away, to give your labor to a business, to a manager, to a boss, or whatever word you want to say, well then your labor is not stolen. You know why? Because you are agreeing to work for that company. And so that is why I say that stolen labor is a, is a stupid idea. It's a stupid term. Especially in a society when you can like freely walk out the door of your business and no longer work for them. As long as you are allowed to quit your job without suffering any legal repercussions, legal repercussions, like say for example you get fined because of it, or you get jail time, as long as you're not forced by the gun to work for somebody, as long as you're not forced by the gun to work so for somebody, or else die or suffer jail time, well then, you are, your labor is not stolen. The moment that somebody that does force you by the gun to either work for the company or die or get jail time, well then that's the moment that it is stolen labor. Otherwise, slavery. And I'm talking about literal slavery. Like you are not allowed to leave your job at all. I'm not talking about, oh, you work tireless hours at a cash register as a cashier at $8 an hour minimum wage. Or seven twenty five is the actual minimum wage. But anyway, you get my point. You're not paid the $15 that everyone thinks they're entitled. But minimum wage, that's a little bit of a... It is a tight end issue, but it is not what I'm wanting to talk about right now. But as long as you are allowed to leave your business, to leave your job, as long as you are allowed to quit your job, I am allowed to quit my job, so my labor is not stolen. As long as you are allowed to quit your job, leave the doors without dying or suffering jail time, well then your labor is not stolen. So that's why that's, I say that the term of stolen labor is a stupid one. You might suffer repercussions of you quitting your job like i.e. you cannot pay rent or you cannot pay for food but that is not stolen labor that is not slavery to anyone so again stolen labor stupid term as long as you can quit your job without suffering any legal repercussions or having your rights stolen that's all I have to say about that. And I have my Cult of Dusty video coming up pretty soon for all of my subscribers out there. S-Man Speaks, you wait on that and I will get it out soon. Just, I, I finished the, um, I finished all the 
video recording for it, but now I need to edit it and it is going to take a little bit more work. So stay tuned for that video and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.